Hello there, welcome to the Indian Insight channel. As promised in my last video, I said that after the Jan expiry on 25th Jan, I'll come up with a video using the option chain data. We will analyze the February option chain data to look at where the market is probably headed. In my last video, I talked about the outside bar which was formed on the weekly chart and that was uh, giving a bearish signal in the video before that we have all we had already seen this channel where again we were expecting some selling to emerge and and we see that there has been some decent selling in the index so first the trend channel warned us about a possible sell off in the market then we got further confirmation using the outside bar the outside bar shown here on the weekly chart which again signals some further selling in the market now if we look at the option chain data and depending on what is in the options chain data we may be able to conclude that whether the selling will continue or we may see some respite in the market now why options chain data is very important is because if you look at the previous videos which I have shared, usually when I do option chain analysis, I share a YouTube short. So, for example, in December, on 1st of December, if I am right, it was a Friday, I uploaded a video, a YouTube short early morning. This was just before the election results, which was due on Sunday, that was 3rd of December. So there was election result, state election result that was due and largely it was expected to not be good for the ruling party. Most people were bearish on the markets due to that. However, when I was looking at different stocks in the market, I was seeing bullish breakouts and these bullish breakouts, uh, they will usually happen before the indices start going up. So because I was seeing a lot of bullish breakouts and I was obviously taking long positions through Wednesday and Thursday uh, in a, that is late November, I wanted to check if the options data for December signals some bullish momentum in the market. And when I looked at the option chain, options chain data for December, I saw that there was indication that there may be panic buying in the market. And at that time, that was a little surprising for me also because the general expectation in the market was that Nifty might not go up drastically after the election results. However, the option chain data was indicating a panic buying that was likely in the market. And then on 3rd of December, the election results were out and the ruling party basically sweeped the election in most of the states. And after that, in December, there was tremendous rally in the market. The point is that option chain data can often signal where the market is headed in the future. Most importantly, it can tell you if there may be some sort of panic selling or panic buying in the market. So in this video, let's now look at the Nifty option chain data for the February month to see if it is signaling any kind of panic buying or panic selling. So this is the data from the NSE website, the option chain data, I have selected the 29th Feb expiry data. So the spot price is around 21,352.6. That was the closing price on 25th of Jan. And the first, let's look at some of the simple things like the support and resistance. 21,300 is going to be the support, the first support. This is going to be followed by 21,000, which is the second support. On the resistance side, the first resistance would be around 21,500. And then the next resistance, the next major resistance would be around 22,000 for Nifty. So the resistance levels, important resistance levels are 21,500 followed by 22,000. While important support levels are 21,300 followed by 21,000. Next, to find out if there can be a panic buying or panic selling in the market, we need to look at the in the money 
put an in the money call data. This is the in the money put data. You look at the number of contracts, which is the open interest here, and you compare it with the open interest of in the money call options. And what happens is, from the if you think from the perspective of the option seller, what would happen to these option sellers? These call option sellers, if the market starts moving up for whatever reason, if there is some news that comes in, for example, on 1st of February, there is uh, the budget, right? So that's a major event. Then we have some uh, issues going around in uh, Middle East. So there may be some news from there. Or maybe there is some other news that might come in. So news may be bullish or it may be bearish. Let's assume for a second that the news is bullish. What happens if the news is bullish? Maybe the market moves up by 1%. Okay, maybe if the market moves up by just 1%, these people who have written call options, they may panic a little, right? If the market continues to move up, they might panic a lot more, right? Similarly, if the market moves down by 1%, then these option sellers, which is the put option sellers, they will start to panic. Now, if you want to decide whether the, there may be a panic buying or panic selling, then you should look at the cumulative open interest of in the money put options and compare it with the cumulative open interest of in the money call options. If you look at this, then here you see bigger numbers compared to the numbers you see. So basically in the money put options, the cumulative open interest is much more than the cumulative open interest of in the money call options. So if there is even a slightly bearish news that comes in or for whatever reason there is a slight sell-off, then there is a chance that this sell-off may escalate because these people here who have already who are already short in the money put options, they may start to panic because they will have to make some adjustments. They will need to maybe close their position, put option positions here and maybe short put options at lower levels. So they will need to make some changes to their positions to recover their losses or whatever. And because there is huge difference between number of people who are short in the money put options compared to number of people who are short in the money call options. So it is more likely that in the month of February, there may be panic selling in the market. Now you use this data point, combine it with the data point from our charts where we are already selling off from an important trend channel resistance zone. We are all we have already seen another signal from the market, which is a outside bar that has been formed on weekly chart. And over and above this, you are seeing that there is a likelihood that if there is a panic in the market, it will be towards the downside. So this is another signal for you to be careful in the market in the coming week. Now, as you may be aware. On Friday, there was news about uh, SDFC Bank that uh, LIC has received permission from RBI to increase their stake to around 10% from their current stake of 5 or 5.5%, whatever that is. So when you have a news like that in a counter that has been selling, you may expect that there may be some initial positive momentum for the counter on Monday. Right now, let's say if that happens, but the momentum does not sustain. So, for example, if HDFC Bank opens higher, but it, the momentum does not sustain, and if it reverses, that would be another uh, bearish signal, another confirmation for you that maybe the general markets might not recover immediately and might go down. And if that happens, our support levels are 21,300 and 21,000. And maybe we may see it fall to a lower support of around 20,500 as well. From the charts perspective also, we see this blue line here. Okay, this blue line is basically in middle of these of the trend channel, these two lines of the trend channel. And uh, for the next week, the important level here is also around 20,488. So 20,500 uh, or around 20,500 is where 
some real support might be available to the market with that we come to the end of this video i hope you liked it and if you did please share this video with your friends so that you can help us grow this channel and that would be an encouragement for me to create more such videos for you thank you for watching the video goodbye